Good evening and welcome back, or indeed just welcome if you're new to the channel. Highlights of three games today, starting with Celta de Vigo at home in La Liga. Malaga and Eli straight off the mark. Vieira finds Messi, who strikes well, but it's wide. The Argentinian at it again, this time it's deflected by a defender. And from the resultant corner, Kosinu has a great header at goal, the keeper punching clear. It's all Malaga for the opening quarter of an hour. Joaquin finds Castro, but his flick doesn't have quite enough power. Joaquin involved again, falling from Messi's lofted through ball, but it's lashed well off target. It takes 38 minutes and a mistake from Celta Vigo, but Castro slots away. The regen dispossessed Edo and it's 1-0. Last chance of the half sees the forward find Messi, but his effort is blocked. Somehow it's only 1-0 at the interval. A corner from our set-piece expert Trippier. And Vieira volleys home. A calm finish from the former Arsenal man. Some great play between our forward line. A stunner of a save. Messi cannot believe that one was kept out. Another good corner, but Kosinu's header is stopped. Trippier seems to be involved in everything now, hitting it from 25 yards, but it's straight at the keeper. Vieira with the pass of the game and with his weaker foot. Castro showing pace and strength, a brace for the forward. Bellingham lets fly, but it's straight at Youngdale once again. Against the run of play, Agudillo finds himself through on goal. He cuts on in his right foot, and a fantastic strike. Back in the game with eight minutes to go. Not for long though. Diaby and Mudrick combine to find Xerxes. The substitute's first effort is stopped, but he's there to tap in on the follow-up. And with the last attack of the game, Messi is somehow denied once again with a world-class save. but it's another three points for Malaga. Castro gets man of the match for his two goal effort. Away to Wales our gaffer, Diaby and Martinelli brought back into the front line. On the 10 minute mark, Trippier find himself in the final third, across to Castro and great header. Trippier has a number of assists already this season. Our captain tries his luck from 30 yards out, but Pamini holds it easily. A 1-2 between Diaby and Vieira, and the midfielder rifles home. What a strike. Three minutes later and he's involved in the build-up once again. Martinelli lays the ball off and Pedri with a powerful finish. The Spaniard then finds Diaby and his shot is blocked. 
They combine again on the stroke of half time, but Pedri is denied. Vieira with an effort, but he doesn't quite strike it. 3 0 at the interval. A better strike this time, but that would have to be some effort from that range. Saragoffa under immense pressure. Pedri hitting it wide, but they just can't seem to get out of their own half. And Xerxes almost making that pressure pay. He wins the ball back, but the keeper stopping a fourth goal. And the Dutch strikers in again, but it's wide this time. We could have had double digits today already. Some fresh legs on the pitch, and Trippier sets up substitute Modric for a fine team goal. The right back with yet another assist. And with the final play of the game, two more subs combining. Kangin plays in Xerxes, a lovely turn and strike, and it's 5 0. Castro star of the game, but excellent performances across the pitch. And our final game of the night. A home tie against Athletic Club Bilbao, looking to keep the perfect start on a league going. And I'm honestly trying not to repeat myself, but it's hard not to. Trippier plays in a beautiful cross, Martinelli can't quite match the finish. Only a matter of seconds later, Diaby is free down the right. He cuts the ball back to Martinelli, and our captain makes it 1-0 after only 5 minutes. This could be a long afternoon for Bilbao. Castro so unlucky. His long ranger comes back off the upright and safe. He's then on the end of yet another great ball from Trippier, his header saved this time. The striker then sets up Pedri with a delicate flick, but he fails to hit the target. Ruben Castro then hitting the opposite pose this time. Maybe it's just not as day to day. And you just can't write it. Castro turn and provider this time. Pedri's turn to be denied by the woodwork, and somehow it's still only 1 0. Zirkov's cross is just over Castro's head. It's kept in play though. And the last action of the half sees Vieira's shot from outside of the box well saved. Malaga hoping they won't pay for a combination of poor finishing and bad luck. Vieira makes sure of that though, and almost identical to his last effort, but this time it flies past Olsen. Forty yards out from Pedri, it swerves at the last second, the keeper's happy for it to go out for a corner. Trippier sets up Martinelli, and it's just wide with his header. Olsen reacts well once again, the keeper and the woodwork keeping the score down today. Xerxes has come off the bench, and he plays in a lofted ball through to Mudrick. Strikes it well, but it was always going to be difficult from that angle. A trippier corner, and Pedri meets the cross with a calm volley. Beats the keeper and the defender on the line. And the Spaniard turns provider soon afterwards. Mudrick flicks the ball up and arrows the ball into the corner. 
absolutely no stop on that one. Strange to say with him letting in four goals, but Olsen's actually played well today and he's called into action once again. He somehow denies a fifth in stoppage time. Malaga will feel a lot of goals were left out on the pitch, but it's four goals, a clean sheet and maximum points in the league so far. Our captain Martinelli picking up the man of the match award today. And that's all for today. So big matches coming up, including a crunch Champions League tie against Man United at home. As always, thank you very much for joining once again, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.